Hi there, this is your friend Vendra dear. It is my sincere prayer to the Lord, O Divine Providence. I ask for not more riches, but for more wisdom to make the wider use of the intelligence. You blessed us at the time of our birth in the form of our mind to control and direct toward the attainment of peace, prosperity, happiness, joy and blessedness. And beloved friends, when I pray sincerely, I know that the true happiness and all these great virtues will be based on our character, moral, and that will be the foundation stone where really permanent construction of our future prosperity will be built. So believe in this philosophy. The happiness is not outside the world. As in the case of Buddha, you saw, he was the richest prince. He has everything on this planet Earth. But he realized that unless he got the enlightenment, the wisdom, the right path of prosperity and success, he can never be happy in his life. So he renounced everything else and he went in search of truth, justice, love, peace and non-violent act. And he really found it. Prosperity lies in self-enlightenment and not in riches, money and everything which is outside intoxicating and charming and bewitching. This is nothing but illusion, misery. But doesn't mean that a rich man will not be happy. Remember, nothing is absent from the kingdom of heaven. It contains all good, true and necessary things. And the kingdom of God is within us. Rich people who are supremely happy because they are generous, magnanimous, pure and joyful. And also rich people who are very miserable. These are they who look to money and possession of their happiness and have not developed the spirit of good and of joy within themselves. How it can be said of a wretched man that he is prosperous Even if his income may be much more, there must be fitness and harmony and satisfaction in a true prosperity. When a rich man is happy, it is that he brought the spirit of happiness to his riches and not that the riches brought him the happiness to him. He is a full man with full material advantage and responsibility. While the miserable rich man is an empty man looking to riches for the fullness of life which can only be evolved from within. Beloved friends, that is the real theme of my confidence building within all of us. Let's search the real happiness and real prosperity that is enlightening our mind, heart and soul and knowing the real secret by noble thoughts. By following the path of truthfulness, we can really bring happiness to our life. And there is no other way than we can be happy and prosperous in our life. That is the theme of my discussion with you. Prosperity is at first a spirit, an attitude of mind, a moral power, a life, which manifests outwardly in the form of plenty, happiness, joy. Just as a man cannot become a genius by writing poems, essays, plays, but must develop and acquire the soul of genius when the writing will follow an effort to cause. So one cannot become prosperous by holding up money and by gaining prosperity and possession, but must develop and acquire the soul, the soul of virtues when the material accessories will follow as effect of cause. For the spirit of virtue is the spirit of joy and it contains within itself the abundance, all satisfaction, all fullness of life. Remember, and write into your heart, the spirit of joy must be in the man or it is nowhere. He must have within him the capacity for happiness. Repeat it. This spirit of joy must be in the man 
or it is nowhere. He must have within himself the capacity for happiness. I thank you very much, beloved friends. Let's be wise, let's be happy, let's be prosperous. That is the real purpose of life. To be honorable, to be respectable, to be calm, quiet, serene, and blessed one. I thank you very much for being a companion in the quest of joy, happiness, serenity, and controlling our mind, heart, and soul towards happiness and blessedness. Thank you very much. Thank you.